box of book works by Pete Horobin. These black and white photographs are of a project called the Chair of Chairs. It was a mail art project and initiated by Pete Horobin sometime around 1986 or 1987. And what he did here was he invited male artists to send him a drawing of a chair. So these chairs on the small postcards here were photocopied and the photocopies were then pasted onto a large utility design chair. Um, this chair was exhibited in a couple of different places, but the last time it was exhibited would have been in Belfast in 2006 as part of a large installation called Controlled Access um, Works from the Attic Archive. Mail art that Pete Horobin did around about 1981. They're small book works that have as part of them an audio cassette and the audio cassette is a recording of the book as it was being made. So the audio cassette would have the sound of the book being made as well as music and maybe sounds from the radio that was being played at the same time. Book works like this um, were sent to correspondence within the Mail Art Network. They weren't copied or anything like that. They were unique pieces of work that were sent to people like Carlo Pittore or Alex Herker, David Zack, people like that. This project is another Mail Art project and in this particular project Pete Horobin invited artists working in the Mail Art Network to send him a sound on a postcard. Um, these sounds on postcards like this the sounds were very conceptualized. Um, they were never recorded or interpreted as audio works but left as suggested sounds. This box 1984 is a complete book work by Pete Horobin. Book work begins in London in 1984 and tells the story of London Man, an unemployed person living in London and it talks about the type of environment that London was at the beginning of 1984. Um, Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister of the UK in 1984 and London was uh, very heavily policed and there were a lot of clamp downs on the street. These photographs were taken in the London Underground and they are double exposures where a film was shot in the camera in London Zoo of animals in cages and then the same film was run through a different camera and pictures were taken in the London Underground. So this book work is really a prelude to the documentation of Apartment 8 in London. This particular photograph shows Gail Litvinoff wearing a sheep mask and this photograph was taken in London Zoo during a performance by tentatively a convenience and Gail Litvinoff. They spent the whole day at London Zoo entertaining the animals in the cages. They entertained the animals very simply just by wearing animal masks. This is a photograph of tentatively a convenience dressed up as a goat. And this particular photograph is of Pete Horobin arriving by helicopter for the 8th newest apartment festival.
So the documentation of the eighth newest department festival finishes with a series of photographs of the people who participated in the festival. This is Stuart Home, tentatively of convenience. Gail Litvinoff, Stephen Thorne, Eugenie Vincent, Cornelius, Diana, and this is a photograph of Monty Canson at the end. After the 8th newest apartment festival, Pete Horobin travelled back to Scotland to do a project called PRAM, which um, stood for Pedestrian Rambles Around My Land. So Pete Horobin decided to call the year 1984 the Year of Freedom. And the reason for doing that was that the mythology of 1984 was really the very opposite of freedom. Um, 1984's uh, Orwellian myth was really the very opposite of freedom. So Pete Horobin's response to that was to call 1984 the Year of Freedom. And one of the things he did was to take a very ordinary pram, which was found in London, and it was taken from London to Scotland by Stuart Home on the train. And then the pram was loaded up with all of this equipment and pushed around Scotland by Pete Horobin. And every evening, Pete Horobin would stop at a different place and put up his tent, just a very ordinary canvas tent, and on the tent, hung upside down, was a rubber chicken which had been given to him by tentatively a convenience in London. And then every campsite was also marked with a chronogram made out of stones which were collected at the site. This is a photograph of Pete Horobin on the road with the pram. This was taken on the west coast of Scotland. So basically, Pete Horobin started his journey here in Fife and crossed right over Scotland and then came up towards the north coast of Scotland and back down the east coast. To close 1984, Pete Horobin made a project called Fife Man. He invited people to participate in a bookwork. So what he did was he started an A4 page and then sent the beginning of the A4 page to various people working within his social network and asked them to complete six pages at one time. And when they had completed the six pages, they were returned to Pete Horobin, who would then send them another six pages to complete. Phil Pilkington, who was a, an artist friend of Pete Horobin, and this page was completed by Emilio Morandi. So there's a fantastic variety of techniques and different media used in the pages. This is by Mark Pawson, and this page here is by Vitor Baroni. Ben Allen always used this helicopter rubber stamp to identify his work. And the reason for that was that the helicopter had a very strong significance in the north of Ireland. Um, the north of Ireland in 1984 was a military state. Um, you couldn't go anywhere without being searched by the military. Now this page is by tentatively a convenience. And this photograph of the rubber chicken relates back to the pram project because this is the very same rubber chicken that was taken across Scotland by Pete Horobin when he pushed the pram. And it is page number 196. So the bookwork has 196 A4 pages. Thank you.